Gaming Audio has seen quite a lot of improvements in the past few years. The quality, the features, they have all been upgraded in significant ways. But when you're buying your first gaming audio, you are ultimately left with a choice from two different form factors. You can either go with the gaming headphones or you can go with the gaming earbuds. And in this video, we're going to be comparing which one is actually better or rather which is better for what. So gaming headphones against gaming earbuds. So let's get it started. And since I cannot compare every gaming headphones and every gaming earbuds, I had to choose the ones that I have. In this case, I'm pitching against each other pretty high-end gaming headphones and earbuds. And in this case, it will be Logitech G Pro X Wireless and this Cyberblade earbuds by Angry Meow. By the way, this video is sponsored by Cyberblade who kindly sent these amazing earbuds, which is pretty much the highest end of earbuds that, that I can find at least in the gaming market. And since I also received and reviewed these headphones earlier as well, this will be more or less even comparison. So let's just go into pros and cons of both and see which one is actually better for you. And yes, some things are better with these and some things are better with these, but which ones? Let's start with pros of both because yeah, they have quite a lot of pros. Let's start with their earphones or if you wanna, or if you want to call it, let's call it headsets if you want, because majority of them are coming with microphones as well. But in this case, we'll be more covering audio quality. One thing that gaming earphones are amazing is in immersion, because yeah, when you put on this headset, when you put on these headphones, they're covering the entire ear and because they have giant drivers inside, they can generate quite amazing range of sound and audio. And the immersion that you can get from these larger headphones it's simply insane. And I guess it's the best in class. And no matter how much I want it, this size of a driver cannot generate the same sound as this size driver. It's simply physically impossible. The second thing that is very important and very cool in this thing is passive noise cancellation. Because these headphones usually are covering your entire ear and because they have usually, well, the very soft cushion, the very soft cushion, they are not allowing a lot of sounds to get in. And some headphones, thankfully, as well, have active noise cancellation and that blocks sound even more. But even without active noise cancellation, they are pretty great at canceling the noise. But it's very important to have a proper fit because yeah, if your head is too big for a headphones like this one, yeah, it won't be covering your entire ears and yeah, it won't be isolating that much. So yeah, the proper sizing here matters as well. And speaking of it, usually the headphones actually fit more snugly to your head because yeah, they have multiple points of weight distribution. Uh, the weight is distributed on your head like this, on your headband and also on your ears because it's actually actively pushing your ears from sides, like clamping your head. So usually it's far more stable because yeah, they have, uh, uh, these headphones have multiple points of, well, attachment to your head. Another thing that is cool is these headphones, not all of them, but a lot of great high-end headphones also have an ability to change the ear cushions. For example, these headphones have an ability to change its leather ear cushions for the fabric ones. For example, if you want to play during summer, the leather ones are not that great because yeah, you're going to get very sweaty in these ones. And speaking of seasons, Gaming headphones are actually much, much, much better during winter months because it's gonna keep your ears very warm and yeah, it's insanely good for this very cold months gaming sessions. It's not that great for the summer, but we're gonna talk about cons a little bit later. But what about earbuds? Earbuds do not have that great of a reputation for the gaming. So what are their pros? First is, first things first, of course, it's size. The gaming ear, the earbuds are much smaller and they are much easier to carry. Even these earbuds who have pretty large uh, carrying case and yeah, it's usually made to be static and on your table, even in that form factor, even in that form factor, these headphones are much smaller than this ones. Like compare the carrying size of this, like the size of, a, even smaller than the size of a single ear cup and the entire headphones. Like this is, much easier to carry despite its form factor. Yes, some other earbuds have like slimmer cases, but even that is not that big of an issue compared to the headphones. Next is weirdly pretty much the same as with gaming headphones and it's sound isolation. Because they fit directly into your ear canals, they are blocking all the sounds coming into your ears. Plus a lot of gaming earbuds, including this one, have an active noise cancellation built in. So it's even better for blocking surrounding sound. 
sound. Speaking of blocking surrounding sound, this ones are actually much easier to wear when you are outside of your gaming setup. You can wear this basically everywhere. Since they have also Bluetooth connection, if you're gaming on your iPad or on your iPhone, it's much easier to carry this ones than this ones. Like you can just put your, them in your ear, put this one in your pocket or in your backpack and just move on. And they are much more discreet. And like compare this one to this ones. Like everyone knows that you're listening to the music and you are just, well, in the zone compared to this ones. This makes you more available, like uh, more discreet and in many cases more stylish as well. Another pro that is weird for many to understand is that this earbuds are actually much more durable than actual headphones. You know why? Because when you drop this ones, because they're very small and very light, they have a very little chance of actually breaking. And plus they don't have any moving elements except maybe for the ear tips. And the worst thing that will happen, maybe the ear tip will just fall off. While the headphones compared to that have much more moving elements and much more points of breaking, which we're gonna talk about in the cons. Speaking of cons, let's go to the bad sides of the both. The first thing that can be downfall of gaming earphones is also it's well plus as well. And it is the fit of the headphones. You see, a lot of times it can cause discomfort to wear this for the prolonged amount of times because, yeah, as I said, it clamps to your head and it actively pushes your ears and your head. And sometimes if the headphones are heavy, and usually the wireless ones are actually heavier because they also have battery uh, in addition to all of the electronics and all the tech, they can cause quite a lot of discomfort. And yes, after a few hours of the gaming, it can cause uh, discomfort around my ears. So yeah, and this, and this is especially because I have very, very large ears. It cannot be an issue. It can be non-issue for a lot of people who have smaller heads and we, uh, and for whom these headphones have less clamping force but for me it is kind of an issue and if you have large head it might be for you as well next con is as i said they are bulky the carrying of such headphones is much more difficult than carrying than carrying earbuds like in this case like in the case of this earphones like this is its carrying pouch like this is what you need to carry these headphones in its entirety and right now it's even a full size i need to fold it make it smaller and then put it inside and this pouch the smallest form factor that i can carry and usually some uh, headphones actually have an ability to fold but compare this to right this one it's night and day like it's it's even beyond comparison and next next con is maintenance of such headphones you see you don't think of this as much at first when you're buying this, but in reality, these headphones require, and any headphones to be fair, require quite a lot of maintenance as well. Like, you see how many surfaces are here? You see how many surfaces that need to be cleaned constantly if you don't want to have filthy headset on your head? And plus, because it has moving elements and you are putting it on and off constantly on your head, it also degrades the leather on the head right here and on ear, and ear cups as well. And eventually you will need to change it. And it is much more prone to be broken than, well, this one's because, yeah, there are not a lot of things that you can break in here. Here it is. And there is also one last con for the gaming headphones that I'm gonna leave for the conclusion because it's more or less personally my own con. But what about gaming earbuds? Are they that perfect? Of course not. They have their own cons as well. First is, as I said, compared to the gaming earphones, the drivers are tiny, 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 much smaller than for gaming earphones. And there is no way that high-end gaming earbuds can match the sound of high-end gaming headphones. Granted, in a majority of the cases, in absolute majority of the cases, average user will not feel that big of a difference. They, he will feel the difference, the user will feel the difference, but it will not be that big of an issue, but it exists. The issue is this, that gaming earbuds have worse sound than gaming headphones. It will always be this way, because this is simple physics. The smaller, smaller drivers will always generate the worst sound. Not much worse, but still pretty great, but it will generate worse sound. That's just granted. The second con is, well, misplacing your earbuds. If you will throw one away somewhere or just drop it on your table while you are going to, well, for the restroom or something like that, well, 
good luck if you will drop it somewhere because you might lose it forever. And and many earphones are like, for example, the Apple ones, you do not have an ability to find them. You will just drop it and you will have to find them physically and yeah, they're gone. So it's very easy to misplace these things. However, if you're using this more or less only on your main setup at home, like I'm using these ones, well, there is a very low chance that you will actually lose them. Next con is comfort. Even though these earbuds are very, very comfortable, it has a lot of different ear tips, including rubber ones and memory foam ones. It is still not as comfortable as the headphones. Yes, the prolonged exposure on the headphones is not that comfortable, but if you're not playing games for a really long time, maybe an hour or so, this is much more comfortable than this ones. Even though like it fits perfectly in my ears, yeah, it will cause discomfort after a few hours. So basically it's the same con as for the gaming earphones. But but this is more or less subjective because for some, this might be much more comfortable for a few hours and for others, the gaming headphones might be much more comfortable for a few hours. Next is latency and suitability for the some games. Now granted, these particular earbuds have very, very, very low response time and are very, very quick. But not all earbuds are having this type of technology to but they have very low latency in your sound majority of them are working over just bluetooth and your latency is much 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 larger which is not great for the games like the first person shooters where you require fast sound to just pinpoint the location plus because the sound is not as rich as a large on larger earphones yeah you might have a different experience with different tutors. For example, for me, to be fair, on an earbuds, it felt perfectly fine. The sound positioning, the surround sound was perfect on the, this ones. But this is very high-end earbuds. And for majority of the earbuds, it will not be the same case. While on an earphones, uh, yeah, even the mid-range earphones can have very good positional audio. So just know that, that very good surround sound and very great latency is usually available only on very high-end, usually available on very high-end earbuds. And last con, but not least kind of for some, is microphones. Yeah, this have microphones as well. Uh, this has a microphone as well. It's not attached, but it has a microphone. And to be fair, both sound awful. None of them sound good, but this sound even worse because yeah it's pretty much expected this is earphones have very 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 tiny holes for microphone insanely small and yeah there is no way that this had high quality sound yes it's perfectly usable yes it's perfectly distinguishable the noise isolation for this ones the background noise isolation was weirdly good uh, because yeah nothing was picked up from the background but yeah quality of the sound is not good at least, if not bad. But it's the same for basically every earbuds of this size. So yeah, we went through pros and cons, but let's conclude which one is better and which one is better for what. Well, to be fair, if you are a serious gamer, if you are gaming a lot, and if you are into competitive gaming, uh, yeah, this ones will be better. The large uh, drivers, the better surround sound experience will give you ability to play the games better. Now I'm gonna go to the con that I'm myself personally faced with this one. This is much less convenient for me than this one is. And let me tell you why. This is constantly connected to my computer on its dock station. So it's constantly available and it's constantly charging right here. Well, this one is not. It needs to be charged through the cable like this. Because of a charging case and because it's constantly connected to my computer, it's much more convenient for me when I sit down on a computer, just take an earbuds and put them on and just start playing. And when the battery will go down, we will go dead, just put them back and they will just charge up. Or even, even if you will just stop gaming, just put them back and they will just start charging and be ready for my next gaming session. And this lasts for six hours with RGB and ANC on. So yeah, I never game for six hours straight, at least not anymore. So yeah, it's perfectly convenient for me. While this ones, 
even though they last much longer, like much, much longer than this one. This can last like 20 hours or more. Uh, yeah, when I put it down, it won't be charging. I need to physically connect the cable or can't keep it connected. So to be fair, even though this is very first world problem issues, this is much more convenient for me, like convenient. Even though I understand that there is no way that earbuds can beat in the sound quality the large headset. For the games that I play, and I usually do not play competitive games, I usually play single player games and a little bit in a multiplayer where I don't care how great I am, I just enjoy the game. These are actually much more convenient for me. Now, pricing wise, this costs twice as much as this one. Yes, I understand that, but this is also not the highest end of an earphones. This is basically the highest end of an earbuds, just, just to give you understanding. Plus, this is much more convenient to play during summer months when it's hot because, yes, nothing is covering your ear, uh, nothing is covering your ears, and plus, if you have uh, the hair like I do, uh, this one will never put a ridge on your head like this one is doing constantly, which is <laughs> not a great thing to have. So overall, to whom do I suggest this ones? Well, if you are serious about gaming and if you're serious about competitive gaming, go for the headphones, head slash headset. And if you are more or less casual gamer who plays for a few hours, maybe a day to just enjoy time for yourself and you don't mind to have an earbuds in your ears, well, this one is much better. And by the way, if you are interested what type of shape it has, I don't know if you, if you can see it, the shape of the headset, the earbud itself is more or less like the AirPods Pro. So if you are used to AirPods Pros or if you're using AirPods Pro, uh, then yeah, this is the same thing for you. What do you think? Which one is better for gaming? Gaming headphones or gaming earbuds? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one and I'm going to see you in the next one. See ya.